Do you work as a teacher? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build an attendance tracker quite easily using Microsoft Forms and Excel. With this solution, you will be able to create an interactive attendance report as well so that you can see which students have attended all the lectures or which students have skipped some of them. So what do you need? Well, you need three things. One, you require an online class. This could be something like Teams or Zoom or whatever else that works for you. The second thing that you need is to set up a Microsoft form to track the attendance. And the third one is a spreadsheet software like Excel to analyze the data. Now let's go and examine how you can set up the attendance form and track the results. First, you need to go to the website forms.office.com and this is the place from where you can create your own online forms. Now, if you have not already logged into your office account, you will have to log in. I'm already logged in, so it will show me a new form as well as a new quiz and few other bits. Let's create a new form. We will call this as attendance form and you may want to include some description or even a logo or the image of your class. Next up, let's add some questions. At the bare minimum, you require the student's unique identifier. This could be the ID number of the student or their school email address. When you try to add something through the plus button, Microsoft Forms will suggest certain things depending on the theme of the form that you're trying to create. So here it is saying, do you want to include name, email address? So let's add these two and that will come up there. I will add a text field. This is my ID number. This is basically our student's unique identification number and we will make this as a required field and we will put that as the second option in the list of things. So you have your name, ID number and email address. That is all you need for now. But depending on your class, you may want to add certain other things. The next thing that you want to do is click on this big send button and this will create a link for you to share with your students. Now this link will be very long so you can use shorten URL option to create a shorter version of the link, which is kind of easy for you to share. But here is a pro tip. You can use the QR code option to generate a QR code for this attendance form. Now, whenever you have this QR code showing up on the screen, your students can open up their phone, scan the QR code and immediately complete the attendance form on their phones while still following the class. So download the QR code. This will download a PNG or image file and just open up your online classroom and share this PNG with your students at the start of the class. Alternatively, you can also copy this link and at the start of your class or maybe during the middle of it, paste the link into your online classroom session in Zoom or Teams or whatever other software you're using and remind your students to complete the attendance form. All right, so that is done. Let us see how this will look. Here I'm using my mobile phone to scan the QR code and complete the form. So now as you could see, this opened up the form on my mobile. I'll just complete the details and submit the form. This will send the response to our online form and we can see that the response has already been captured here and I can see that. Now, when you open this response in Excel, you will get the data in this format. You can see that it generates a ID number here, which is nothing but a running number that every time it will increase and a start time and completion time. We can use the start time column to figure out who attended the class on a given date. For the purpose of this example here, I have got 200 attendance records with various start times and completion times. And I can now use this information to generate an attendance report like this. Let me show you how to do that. Once you have the data in Excel, just go to insert and click on pivot table. This will add a pivot table in a new page. And here I want to see which students have attended sessions on which dates. So we take the start date and put it into the column so that I can see each day in one column. Excel should automatically group the dates into higher level. But if it is not doing that, you can also use right click and choose the group option to do that. 
then take the student id number which is your unique identifier for the student put it into the row label area you will see one id per row now here i want to see how many times that student attended the class on 1 june so we can again take the same id number put it into the values and right click make sure that this is actually showing the count instead of sum and here instantly i can see which students have attended classes and who have skipped now whenever someone skips the class excel by default will show that as blank but because we they have not attended the class we would like to show that as zero so what you can do is you can right click on the pivot table go to pivot table options and from here where it says for empty cells show just type zero now all the blanks will become zeros at this point our attendance tracking thing is more or less complete but let's make it visual so we can quickly see and scan this report to understand who is missing out more classes or keeping their attendance regular to do this you can go to the home ribbon click on conditional formatting and select a color scale let's pick something like green to red and click ok it will only add the formatting to the currently selected cell but once this is done you should see a formatting options button click on that and select the last option this will instantly show all the zeros in red color and all the attendance in green color let's go ahead and disable any totals on this pivot table so that we are only looking at individual rows this is how you can build an attendance tracker and if somebody's row is entirely green that means they have been attending all the classes whereas if there is a little bit of red showing through that means they've been skipping the classes if you want a copy of the attendance form for duplicating it check the video description for a link on that if you want to make random maths questions using microsoft excel check out the video that is shown on the screen that is all for now enjoy your teaching